Winter in the high country of the South Island. Peace and quietness, except for a convoy moving along the road. The army must know all places in all weathers. This time it's a machine gun detachment out on patrol. order to halt and stand by. Now the order is to take post. Each man rushes forward with his piece of equipment. Each gun crew goes into action as a complete unit. It's tough going through the snow, but these men are fit. The slope gained, they dash through the trees to a position that commands the road around the bend. Well-trained men whip their guns into position. The ammunition arrives and the belts are fitted. This time, the chatter of machine guns will not break the silence, but when they do talk, they use mighty strong language. Twelve hundred girl guides have assembled at Government House to see His Excellency. They do see him and at close quarters, but this time the guides have not come for an inspection. This visit is on behalf of all the rangers, brownies and girl guides in New Zealand. They have come to give His Excellency the money they have all collected to build recreational huts for soldiers. They set out to collect money for four trefoil huts. That was being ambitious, but they ended up with enough for six. His Excellency told them they had done truly wonderful work, and for the happiness it would bring, it was worth 20 times that much. Events have moved fast in this war, but these universal carriers move faster. Tearing over sand hills is chicken feed to them. Even cavalry couldn't do better. But when it comes to the open beach, the cavalry would be left far behind. Yes, it's pleasant buzzing along a good hard beach with the blue Pacific rolling in. There's a salty tang in the air and no traffic cops to worry about. But there's more to it than joyriding. New Zealand's coastline is long and her enemies are many. Her defence depends on mobility. So it's practice in moving fast, in being able to reach an invasion point before the enemy could land in force. And when it comes to mobility, these squadrons of the armoured fighting vehicles can certainly turn it on. <laughs> 